drops at 7.30. Join us Saturday for Latino Heritage Night, brought to you by Telemundo. Puck drops at 7, but all festivities start at 5 with our tailgate featuring live music and bounce houses for the kids. Tickets start at $12, just $12, and can be purchased at the FCB box office at Germain Arena or by calling 948-PUCK or by logging on to FloridaEverblades.com. Everblades Hockey, brace yourself. You're listening to Florida Everblades Hockey on AM770. Now back to Alex Reed and the post-game wrap-up. Well, Everblades drop another tough one here this evening. They fall to the Wheeling Nailers by a 5-3 score. And it's interesting, uh, when you look at the shots on goal right now, you think about it, the Everblades with 51 shots on net in this hockey game. They come away with three goals. Excellent outing there by Brian Foster, but... Uh, certainly the Nailers limited to 24 shots. That'll usually get the job done in most cases. Blades will take that number right there. They, what they won't take is the five goals on those 24 shots. And Wheeling scoring on each of their first three shots of the game. It, simply incredible how uh, that one worked out here this evening. Talk about efficiency. Uh, the Nailers had just that in the early going. Well, let's see how we got to this. 5-3 score. These teams have been lining up a lot of goals here as of late. And as I mentioned, the goals came early. And the first goal, though, came to the Everblades. They got off to the start they wanted to. Gabriel Desjardins taking a turnover at the blue line, skating it in and firing off a shot that was able to beat the goaltender Foster for the tally. An uh, unassisted tally for Desjardins. His fourth of the year scored just a minute 33 in. Gave the Blades a 1-0 advantage. But then at 242, it would be Evan Wordley.